Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're going to get into some NBA action for March the 20th, but before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section that will help you make your picks. So let's get started here. There's four games that we want to take a look at for this day. And we'll scroll down here and take a look. Memphis and Houston, Portland and Indiana. I mean, there's lots of games here, but there's some more important featured games that we want to take a look at than these first few right here. Phoenix and Sacramento. The Suns ended with the best record in the NBA, and the Kings are near the bottom in the Western Conference. You see that Phoenix is burning hot. They have won five out of their last six games. Now, Houston is dead status. They have lost five out of their last six, and only win coming against Chicago on March the 14th. You see that Phoenix has been involved in games over the line four out of the last six and in the last four and Sacramento also in four out of the last six so this could be a high scoring game if you look at the uh, score prediction you see 120 to 115 in favor of Phoenix with 76 percent level of confidence that would be a game that would go over the line although the line hasn't been posted I'm pretty sure that definitely would go over if you're looking at the power rankings indicator it's not a surprise here that Phoenix is near the top of the league at plus 28 while Sacramento is at plus 10. You want to see how consistent the two teams have been. According to the favorite underdog status, both teams are very consistent. Phoenix the most in the league at plus 41, and Sacramento at plus 20, and both teams are on the upward trend in that category. Phoenix will be a road favorite. I don't see that there's going to be much of a chance for uh, the Kings to win this one, even though they're at home. I like Phoenix to win in a game going over the line. Utah and the New York Knicks, Boston and Denver. This should be a very good game. The Celtics enter fourth in the Eastern Conference, and the Nuggets are sixth in the Western Conference, so both teams are right in the middle of the playoff picture. Boston burning hot at the moment, winners of five out of their last six, coming off of a 22-point win over Golden State. While Denver is average up, they came off of a four-point win over Philadelphia, and they have won four out of their last six. You see that both teams have been uh, trending in games over the line in three out of their last six games. So betting the over-under uh, over is a little bit of an iffy proposition in this one. If you see the score prediction of 115 to 112 in favor of Denver with about 49% level of confidence. The power ranking indicator shows Boston at plus 17. They were at plus 24 just a week ago. They have dropped considerably since then. And Denver has increased from plus 16 up to plus 20 over the last few days. Take a look at the stability factor. This is always a very important thing to look at. Uh, you see that Boston is at plus 25, Denver's at plus 16. So both teams are pretty well performing according to what their favorite underdog status indicates. I do like um, Denver at home in this one, but I think I would avoid the over under. It's just the teams have just been over and under, in, you know, 50% of, of their last six games apiece. So that's a little bit of an iffy bet. So I would avoid that in this one. San Antonio and Golden State. The Spurs looked again to position for the chance of the postseason, while Golden State is third in the Western Conference. Both teams are average status at the moment. You see that they, well, Golden State is four and two over the last six, while the Spurs are three and three over their last six. If you look at the over under, the Spurs have been involved in games over the line in two out of their last six and in their last two. While Golden State also only in two out of their last six, this is a pretty good indication this will probably be a under-the-line type of a game. Um, the score prediction has Golden State by a 120 to 116 uh, score with 51% level of confidence. On the power ranking indicator, you see Golden State was at plus 18 back on March 10th, and they have climbed considerably, and they are at plus 29 now. While San Antonio was at plus six, and they have going back to plus six so there really have there really hasn't been much movement as far as that goes with san antonio how consistent have the teams been performing according to their favorite underdog stats both about the same golden state at plus 21 and san antonio at plus 19. the way i see this game is i do like um golden state at home they're just a better team they're a better overall team and they're playing at home i think they will win this game and cover now. The line hasn't yet been been set, but I do believe that 
it will go under under the line no matter what that is i just have a feeling just by the trends that that's the way this one's going to go and if you look down here at the rest of the schedule there's one more game we want to look at the toronto raptors and the philadelphia 76ers philadelphia comes in the contest third in the eastern conference while the raptors are seventh toronto is burning hot at the moment winners of five out of their last six while philadelphia's average they are three and three over their last six coming off of a four point win against cleveland if you look at the over-under, the Raptors have been over in two out of the last six games, and Philadelphia only in two out of the last six games as well. So a bit of a surprise there. I do think that this is game, game going to go under the line. And look at the score prediction. I don't really agree with this uh, margin here. Toronto 116, Philadelphia 106 with 58% level of confidence. But of course, that could change as we get closer and closer to game time. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see Philadelphia they're up near the top, and they have dropped considerably as of late because they just haven't been very consistent replaying lately. Like I said, just 3-3 three and three over the last six. They were at plus 18, while Toronto is at plus 21. The stability factor, Philadelphia is more consistent at plus 18 compared to plus 9 for Toronto. I think Philadelphia is going to figure things out here for this one. Playing at home, they're going to get back on track. I like Philadelphia to win this one. But I like the game to be lower scoring, so bet under the line. So there you have it. Those are all the games for March 20th in the NBA. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.